Lake effect snows can bring record-breaking snowfall totals, but they can be extremely difficult for meteorologists to forecast. So what exactly causes these strong bands of heavy snow which begin near the Great Lakes to fall? Meteorologist Dante Ricky has the details tonight. A historic lake effect snow event is possible this weekend in New York, especially along Lake Ontario and Lake Erie, where some snowfall totals could exceed four feet for the entire event through the weekend. Now, we normally see lake effect snow during the late fall and early winter when you still have a warm lake temperature above freezing with liquid water and very cold air temperatures that blow from the winds that come out of Canada. It could be very cold in which the air temperature is below freezing. That causes evaporation to occur very strong above the warm lake and it, the cool air gets filled with moisture and since it's below freezing, it can very quickly become snowfall, dumping large snowfall totals just beyond where the wind blows across the lake. Now, the more distance that that wind blows across the warm lake, the heavier your snowfall totals can be. And if that air temperature is below freezing, especially 25 degrees or below, you can even get some thunder snow in some of those heaviest snowfall bands that fall. Now, these are very difficult to forecast because just across a couple miles of difference, you could have two or three feet of difference in snowfall totals as they are very narrow but intense bands of snow that follow the wind direction as it blows across the lake. From the Eyewitness News Storm Team, I'm meteorologist Dante Ricky.